What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Frobbing. Guys, your brand new video. And today, we are talking about and going through our settings, our Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, Warzone, Cold War settings, whatever game it is now. We are going to do the settings. Now, I'll be 100% transparent and 100% honest with you guys. I don't know why I have the settings the way they are. I followed a thing online and it told me to make the settings the way that they are, the way that that is. And so who thou thee, that is how thy thee that I went with to um, for my settings. That is dead ass, literally all I did. But then I was also messing with some NVIDIA filters, which will be towards the end of the video. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start, start off with sensitivity. Now, I'm actually on 6.0 sensitivity, 800. DPI for the mouse. I know, I know, I don't have a controller. I'm not a cheater, okay? I don't have my controller aim for me. So I am on the mouse and keyboard with 6.0 sensitivity, 800 DPI. And everything is at 1.0 for the multipliers. For the ADS, I think relative or legacy, I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what any of that means. And so, yeah, it's that. And recently I just changed my coefficient to 1.78. Um, default is 1.33. Disabled mouse acceleration, do not ever have that on. That will fuck you up. So let's go on to our graphic settings. It should be full screen because I'm an idiot face moron head. I'm using the Dell ass, this thing, the display monitor, that's my monitor. All this doesn't matter. I can reach 240 frames, so I have that. I have a 240 Hertz monitor. All this should be um, pretty default, I think automatic disabled v-sync custom frame rate you just customize whatever you want i don't think nvidia highlights are necessary personal preference i think but then basically i have everything on normal or extremely low because i want the most frames that i can possibly get oh yeah th three 30 90 flex if you don't have a 30 90 you're probably broke so i'm just kidding <laughs> all right so we're gonna move into the actual display details and textures <clears throat> streaming quality i'm on low texture resolution normal texture filter and i don't know how to say that word that's also a normal and particle quality is on high well it impacts the sprays i keep that enabled i think that's important especially for warzone and a tessellation i don't know what that means um but if you look at the images you know mine's disabled as well guys go back to tessellation and go to near turn that back on my bad shadows i think are all low or disabled Stomach strength is at a 1.0. Um, I don't use DLSS. I don't know much about that. I think I have a pretty decent PC to where I don't need to turn that on. But, you know, maybe I'll mess with it in the future. Anti-aliasing is a, a must, must off for me personally. I know a lot of people play it on, but I think it's just ugly, man. Um, Anti-aliasing, turn that off. Depth of field is disabled. Blur, any type of kind of motion blur you want disabled, or else you're gonna get motion sickness. Film drain is on off. Dynamic resolution disabled. And um dynamic resolution. I don't think that matters if it's disabled. Audio, I personally use boost low. And then you just mess with your settings. This is all like personal preference. Um, and based off of your headset and whatever mixers and shit you're using and all your sounds. So I use the modern warfare hit markers and but i i recommend boost low i don't know why i've always had more success with boost low anywho anyhow all the audio settings again are just you know based off whatever you do controller yes you're a cheater if you use the controller but i always put on tactical on 8 8 sensitivity i'm considering going back to controller because i actually want to win a close range gunfight it's considering it aims for me so that might be the play and the plan <clears throat> all right to general i kind of skipped over a general to go to the graphics field of view we're at 120 on an affected fov basically i think affected is very 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 important um you just zoom in less when you're unaffected plus it helps with closer range gunfights so that's what i'm on brightness i'm at 50 percent because because you know um these are default to 100 this um we're gonna skip introduction movie Tool tips, don't need that shit. Subtitles, dude, I don't know how people can play subtitles. I don't have that on, but I don't I do not do that. Colorblind, I, I can see for the most part. 
so i don't need that minimap i think you definitely see a lot more of your minimap when you have the minimap on square i think everybody probably has that on by now um minimap rotation always on enabled <clears throat> profanity filter if you're a streamer or content creator pretty much um i turn my fps counter on because it shows up here and, and the server latency and the packet loss so see what your ping is and also if you're dropping packets you're, you're you're losing the packets so but everything else is disabled um and then show mute so basically this is um if i hit f9 it mutes the voice chat anybody talking in game and then also if i hit f10 mute the game audio which is very 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 sick nasty but anyway yeah that's the settings for me again i think a lot of like these are personal preference i would say because these are all my keybinds i pretty much use default keybinds across the board i would say i think but i don't know i'm kind of weird so i use my lethal for q my tactical for g field upgrade for two um and let's see for reloading i use r for next weapon i just use my front side mouse button and then for healing or applying a plate i use the other side mouse button the, the one that's closer to me and that's what i do for a lot of people that don't know so when you open up a loadout you want to go to menu navigation when you open up a loadout sometimes it shows like the default and then it also shows yours but if you get rid of this navigate to next tab there should be a key on here get rid of that delete it and then it always just shows just yours so it doesn't go straight to default and then you have to click the tab to go to yours you just want to uh want to get rid of this navigate to next tab uh, there's a lot of again personal preference settings when it comes to the personalized settings let's go into the nvidia filters in filter all right i use details apparently these matter what order they're in which i had no idea so i kind of just threw them in there once again but this is what i got i have details sharpen at 18 percent clarity at 28 percent hdr toning at 28 percent and bloom at zero percent color i'm at tin color at zero tin intensity at zero temperature at zero and vibrance at 20 as well and then sharpen i got sharpen at 63 and ignore film grain at 100 percent so let me just open these up for you guys what you guys can see boom Again, that's all the settings that I use. I actually really, 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 really like these filters. I can see pretty much everything except for the broken rose skin that apparently got fixed, but it didn't. So there's that. Yes, those are my settings. Those are my NVIDIA filters that I really, really enjoy using. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, Yeah, make sure you guys like and subscribe and comment. And uh, let me know if I need to switch any other settings to make the game better. Take it easy, guys. Hope you guys have a great day. Hope you guys have a great night. We'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.